We're just waiting. I know some of you guys are popping on, so we're just waiting. Oh, it's nine o'clock. Okay, we're gonna wait one, no, it's not, not quite. One minute, one minute, and we're gonna begin. So, um, thanks for coming in on this Thursday morning. With this like, self-quarantine, I'm totally losing track of the days. Um, so today we are doing back day. So what I want you to make sure that you have for equipment is your dumbbells. I got a set of five and a set of eight. And if you go heavier, you can go heavier. But what I like to do is uh, double up my weight. So you got your weights. Have a resistance band of some sort, if you have. So either one of these will do. Uh, and lastly, I have a strap. You do not need a yoga strap, but if you have a towel, like a tea towel, a large towel, whatever, go grab a towel. Um, because we will be using that as well. So a towel, a strap that doesn't move, maybe your bathrobe, strap, something like that. And of course, for you guys who got foam rollers, stick around to the end because we'll be foam rolling and then also a tennis ball. I warned you about that. Get a tennis ball if you have one. Okay, so that's all we need for today's workout. So I'm gonna get right to it. 90% of moms complain about back pain. You wanna know why? Because we are like mother hunching all day long. Okay, not even just that. We're on our phones all day. We're at computers all day. Hopefully this quarantine stuff gives us a chance to not be on all these devices all the time. But what do we need to do about it? Oh yeah, we're complaining that we got back problems because you know we got poor posture. Maybe you just had a baby and you complain about having an epidural and you're bleeding out of the epidural. Most likely the chances are it's just because you don't have strong enough glutes and you have a weak core, so, and you just haven't been exercising your back. So I know after having my uh, first baby, my back just felt like so achy and painy. Okay, while I talk, let's warm up, because I know you guys are ready for this. So what I want you to do is pull those elbows right back behind you, arms at 90, okay? So we're just warming up here. All right, so I know after my first baby, I just felt so achy in my upper back. You wanna know why? It's because I wasn't, I was all like front heavy. I wasn't exercising. And as soon as I started exercising and strength training my back, that turned around. Like no more aches and no more pain. So that was really good. So working our back is gonna help us to look leaner, lighter, more confident. And those are all good things. And the other thing is the bigger your back gets, like think about that, the wider your back gets, the slimmer your waist will look. That's a plus in everybody's books, I know. Okay, quick little shoulders here, side to side, step taps, and we're going into back workout today and reverse those arm circles. Okay, so here's how we're gonna change it up. I want you to tap, and I want you to bring that arm right out in front of you, okay? So I'm gonna show you from the side. I want you to reach, reach, reach. So you're feeling that stretch in your back. Let's go, last four. Three. Two. And last one. I want you to kind of get in a position where you have your hands, one hand on one knee. Bring one arm down, and you are going to open up. Opening up your chest and feeling that in your back. Inhale down, exhale up. Last time on the side. All right, let's switch arms. I'm gonna show you from the front. Just opening up your chest and trying to get that arm up and working your back. Just a warm up here. Let's go last three. Two. And last one, nice job. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you from the back. I want you to bring your hands up overhead and you are going to contract these muscles as you pull your arms down, 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 down here, and then push up nice and fast. Contract these muscles down the side, your lab muscles, and up. Pull them down, it's almost like, I liken this to a reverse shoulder press, okay? So we're just activating our back muscles here. Last two. And last one. Whew, okay, so now we're warmed up. I want you guys to come onto the ground, so our first, Similar to yesterday, we've got nine exercises in three different rounds. So I want you to come down to the ground. Um, we're gonna do some of our exercises here first. 
First exercise, I want you to grab your uh, towel, your strap, whatever you've got. So we're gonna come onto the ground here. I want you to bring your towel, band, strap out in front of you. We are going to bend those elbows, and I want you to pull this band apart as much as you can. Remember, it's not a resistance band, so you can't really pull it apart. So you're pulling apart, you're gonna bring that band into your chest as you activate your lat muscles. So up here, pull, 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 pull. And now relax your arms, relax your back up. Pull, 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 pull. Inhale. Exhale, pull, 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 pull. You guys got it. Keep going, you've got six more repetitions here. You don't have to lift your upper body so high off the floor, just enough to get that band, that strap, coming down towards your chest. And last one. Okay, next one, we're gonna, these are called super mans, but I'm calling them super bones, okay? Because that's what we are. I want you to start with your hands above your head. You can be bent at 90, a little bit more out. What we're gonna do is you're gonna exhale as you lift your upper body and your lower body. So we're working in a glute squeeze here too. Inhale back down. And exhale, come on up. And inhale down. Mamas, for those of you who are pregnant and obviously can't do this, don't worry, all the rest of the exercises will be standing up. Inhale down, exhale. Come on up. If you cannot keep up with my pace or hold it at the top for as long, that is okay. I want you to follow your own breath and go with it. Feeling your back working here. We're gonna go one more in this. And now we're gonna switch our arms. So I want your arms down by your side. This time, when we do our super moms, I want you to really, really, really reach those fingertips back behind you. Inhale down. Exhale, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Thinking about bringing those scapula blades together. Inhale, down. And exhale, up, up, up. We've got two more here. And last one. Woo. All right, nice job. Come on up. I want you to pick up your light weights here. Here's what we're gonna do. Starting with your arms up, we are going to pull all the way down, 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 down. Stop, quick push up. Now, I'm turning around so that you can see I'm activating this muscle down here, down my backside. That's your lat muscle. That's where we wanna be activating, okay? So, I'm gonna show you from the side so I'm not always facing you. You know, I'm not always facing your, my back. All right, so I want you to pull. We got 12 repetitions here. Pull, 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 squeeze, squeeze, and push up. Inhale. Guys, the other thing I want you to make sure that you are aware of when you are doing any kind of standing up exercises, make sure you're not leaning back. Your hips are, oh, sorry, your uh, rib cage are over your hips. That's one of the reasons that we have back pain. It's because we're like always like this or we're holding babies with our vajayjay stuck out in front of us. Yeah, you heard me right. We walk with our hips and everything else stuck out in front of us. We don't want that. All right, if you have that little back pain I talked about and what I like to do is take a split stance. I think it helps provide for more support when you're doing exercises. Okay guys, I lost my count. This is the last one, squeeze, squeeze, and push up. Woo, bring it down. Okay, this is a quick break here. I want you to grab your water. Make sure that you are drinking lots of water throughout your day, especially your workout. Because once your workout's over, you're not gonna be drinking as much, so I want you to really load up during your workout. We're not doing any jumping or anything like that, so you're not gonna have any water sloshing around. Okay, get some, some more 30 seconds break. What I talk about when, when us moms are like holding kids, we got this posture here, like look how crappy this is, right? So don't let 
your vagina stick out in front of you, your hips stick out in front of you. I want you to pull those hips back. And now, look, look how much more confident you appear. And how much more taller and leaner you appear. Okay, we're gonna go back down to the floor. We're starting with the band pull-aparts. Or the strap slash towel pull-aparts. Let's come on down. All right. Arms right in front, in, in front of you. Remember, bend those elbows. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Bring chest slightly up and inhale back. I know it doesn't look hard, but pulling something that has zero resistance is hard. Split stance, 
You're going to support yourself. One arm. Row here. Same thing. If you're not into this position, your last option is to come to a wall and do it that way. Okay? So whatever option you choose, we're going to do this. I'm going to make sure that I tell you guys when to switch. But you need to be on it and switch fast. Okay? So, let's get ready. We're going to do 12 reps on each side for those of you who are doing single arms and for those of us who's up both, we're gonna do 20 more reps, okay? You can thank all those people out there who are only doing one arm. All right, so remember, we're in this position. We don't want rounding. Don't tuck your butt under. Like, stick your butt out, but you have a nice straight back. All right, you guys ready? Inhale first and let's go. Exhale as you row up. Squeeze your back and hold.
cardio or low intensity hit. So it's not high intensity. So for those, all those of you who got knee pain, you don't want to be doing jumping jacks and burpees because it's just hard on your knees, hard on your back. We're going to be doing a heart raising cardio, but low intensity or no jumping. However you call it. No jumping, same for your knees. Get your heart rate up, body weight only. Okay, that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna go back to it. We got our bent over, rows, our Y backs. So let's do it. Grabbing my heavy weights, which I'm getting tired, you know? I might just go down to my lighter weights soon. All right, you know what to do? Bent over, we've got 24 here. For those of you using single arm, 12 and 12, okay? Let's go.
too. Okay, so my hands are about hip, uh, shoulder width distance apart. What I'm going to do is bend my right arm and I'm pulling it down. So remember those lat muscles we talked about at the beginning? That's where I want you to be pulling. Pull, 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 and up. Go right into it. Other thigh. 
This one feels good. Oh, all right. And unwind. Let's do the other side. Left arm threads through. Temple to the ground. Right arm comes up. And if you want to wind it around your back.
I use a yoga tune-up ball. These are the best balls for self-massage. You got a knot in your back. You got some aches, some tension. I want you to take your ball and place it in your back, anywhere where you feel you need a massage. Never on your spine. So you're always on one side of your spine, up here, beating your traps, wherever you're like, I think a lot of us, we feel it up here. So you're gonna take your ball, lean against a wall, where you feel you need it. Hang out there, the further you walk your feet from the wall, the more pressure is on the ball. You can hang out here, you can go up and down, around and around, the spot that I'm in, I can't really go around and around. Figure eights, like just kind of like play, it's like body play, right? Just playing around, feeling it, and when you're in this position, if you're just hanging out, you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, can I hit this spot? You know, my, my husband, I keep asking him to massage me, this is better. All right, now what you're gonna do, take your arm and do these little seaweed arms, okay? Like feel, how does that, how does that affect the massage or the trigger point area that you're working on? So you can play around with this all day long. You can try putting it on the other side. So I really like foam rolling, it's a great place to start. Once you get to it, you're like, okay, I'm getting used to it, my muscles can't handle it, I'm not feeling, um, you know, it's not hurting me. Play around with the ball and see how this, oh yeah, right there. Right there, feels good. And then you can play around with your arms for your seaweed arms. All right, ladies, thanks so much for joining me. That wraps up today's workout. I will see you tomorrow for our cardio, body weight only, low intensity workout. So I'll see you there.